Hello, St. Mark's. This week I am going to step out of my comfort zone a little bit. Rather than playing the organ or the harpsichord, I'm going to play the piano for you. Uh, now, most organists do begin as pianists, but you eventually do make a transition where you don't play the piano quite as much. And so this was sort of a week of getting those skills back in action. And I'll play a piece for you by a composer named Claude Debussy. And he is kind of an interesting guy in music. He was born in Saint-Germain-en-Laye on August 22, 1862. When he was born, Debussy's parents ran a china shop. His father had many jobs, including as a traveling salesman, a printer's assistant, and a clerk. His mother worked as a seamstress. In 1871, when Debussy was nine years old, his father was arrested for partaking in a radical socialist, anti-religious, and revolutionary movement called the Paris Commune. Some of Debussy's earliest music training could have come by taking piano lessons from a woman who may have studied with Frédéric Chopin. By the age of 10, Debussy was admitted to the Paris Conservatory to study piano and music theory. By the age of 12, Debussy was already playing Chopin's F minor piano concerto, but his fame eventually came from his compositions rather than his piano performance. Debussy's compositions run the infamous Prix de Rome in 1883 and in 1884. Thanks to these awards and to various patrons, Debussy was allowed to travel widely. He traveled to Italy, Vienna, and Russia. Now, Debussy was a bit of a playboy. He had several romantic entanglements with opera singers and mannequins, or who we would call today fashion models. And he even caused a scandal by leaving his first wife for another man's wife who he eventually married. When he was 32 years old in 1894, one of Debussy's most famous pieces debuted, his orchestral piece called Prelude à l'après-midi d'un faune, or Prelude to the Afternoon of a Fawn. In 1902, while rehearsals were underway for the first production of his opera Peleas et Melisande, Debussy was prosecuted for non-payment of debts. The opera eventually became a hit and was performed a hundred times in Paris within the next decade. However, though his works were successful, money problems plagued Debussy throughout his life. In 1909, he began having problems with rectal cancer that would eventually kill him, and he also began taking serious drugs for the pain. In his career as a composer, Debussy wrote vocal dramatic works such as operas and cantatas. He wrote orchestral and choral works, ballets, songs, and piano pieces. All of Debussy's works were meant for the concert hall or stage rather than the church. Debussy was not a religious man and was actually fairly anti-religion perhaps something he inherited from his revolutionary father. Debussy considered nature the closest thing to religion in his life. He referred to mysterious nature as his religion and drew upon nature frequently in his works, from his Prelude to the Afternoon of a Fawn, or his La Mer, which translates to the sea, or Claire de Lune, which translates as moonlight. Claire de Lune is the name of the piece that I will play for you today. It's so famous that I'm sure most of you have heard it before now, and if this is your first time, well, I'm sure you'll hear it again. In this piece, you can hear some of the unconventional harmonies and rhythms that Debussy was famous for. And his harmonies lead many to think of Debussy's music as impressionistic, although Debussy never liked this term being applied to his music. Though Debussy may not have liked the term impressionistic or impressionism being applied to his music, it, it happens nevertheless. And in fact, the score that I'm playing from today has a impressionistic painting by Claude Monet on the cover.
Claude Debussy died in Paris on March 25th, 1918. I hope you all enjoy this beautiful piece, Claire de Lune by Claude Debussy, and we'll see you soon. Uh-oh, you're evaluating my work. I am. Are you subscribed? I will with a red button. And give us a thumbs up. I'm a fan. Of course.